Hello, my name is Kevin Pires. I am a senior applications engineer with Expo. And today I'll be going over the OX1 Optical Explorer and the PX1 Optical Power Expert handheld test kits. So this combination unit comes with the OX1 Optical Explorer. And the OX1 is a revolutionary device. Uh, you know, we like to call it the, uh, the optical fiber power meter. And so basically what it does is in a, in a very small handheld form factory here, it allows you to display fiber length, loss, and optical return loss in under three seconds. So like on the spot detection and location of the most common kinds and causes of failures. And it's really intelligent to use. Um, it has a, uh, the option for a power checker and a light source as well. So it doubles as that. Uh, and it also has a very unique feature set here, which is what we call a click-out device. So you can change your connector type once it gets worn, or if you want to go from APC to UPC. And so there is no calibration because of this. So you would just carry around extra click-out connectors. And then when this connector starts to degrade over time from use, you go ahead and pop in a new click-out. And then, and then you're good to go. Um, it also has a self-diagnostics for, you know, to check its own connector type. Uh, with a rechargeable battery, and it runs uh, about 10 hours on a, uh, on a single charge. And so this is the, the OX1. And then when paired with the PX1, which is our optical power expert uh, power meter, uh, you really have a nice combination kit. So the PX1, uh, you can connect uh, via smart apps, um, uh, via Bluetooth for data reporting from the field and the cloud storage. Uh, it's user-friendly, very compact, color touchscreen, uh, with an intuitive interface and very robust and rugged. So it's IP54, so it's designed for dust and water protection. Uh, there's no offset nulling, very fast boot up. You can get a, a built-in VFL as well. Uh, store up to about a thousand traces on there. It's a powerful tool for measuring optical power. So you receive levels coming in, as well as if you pair it with a source, you can also do insertion loss as well. And so these two tools together work you know, really nice as a great kit that enables you to, to measure power levels, to measure insertion loss, to, to look at the, the, the links themselves. And so to give you an idea of some of the functionalities here, I'm gonna go ahead and inspect and clean a fiber and then plug it into my OX1 here to kind of show you some of the functionality here. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in. So I'm gonna click out connector. So I have that OX1 plugged in. And I'm going to VNC directly into this unit here. So I'm going to start up a, um, a VNC screen here. Uh, so we were able to, uh, so you can kind of see what I'm doing here on the screen in a larger view. And I'll go ahead and uh, pull up the, uh, the screen share here. So essentially what I have here is the main interface for the OX1. And so once I have it powered on and I have my, my test cord plugged in, in this case, you know, it could be a launch cable or whatever. Uh, essentially, uh, I have several different modes here. So there's several different modes when you're testing. So I'm going to go ahead and run the first test, which is Flash Advisor. Flash Advisor is a quick uh, three-second test that gives us link length, loss, and URL. Three of the most important key performance indicators for a network. So I'm going to go ahead and run the Flash Advisor and hit the play button there. And here in under three seconds, we will start getting some information here. So see that, as quick as that. So I do have an active system on this fiber, so I went ahead and put a 1490 source on the far end. And so this model of the OX1 has wavelength detection and will identify you know, what type of pond system that is. So if it's 1577 downstream XGS, or if it's 1490 downstream g -pond, it identifies that, it gives us the power value so the incoming wavelength is neg 8.8 .8 dBm. And then the, the other three KPIs are for the fiber span itself. So the loss is 5.6 dB. The length is 18,800. And our ORL is, is worse than 22.4. So it's worse than 22.4. Um, so we need to look closer at the fiber to find out why our ORL is so bad. Uh, so this is a quick flash advisor. And you'll see, you know, we have a five-star rating system up top. So this five-star rating system, uh, you know, right now we have one and a half stars, which is not good. So now I can run additional tests. So we have two other test suites we can run. The next one I can run is um, the Fault Explorer. 
So this will give us more comprehensive information. So to go out there and gather more data and then look at individual link information or element information like splices and connectors. So I'll go and hit play there. And this one will run a little bit longer because it's going to be doing more. And you see, you start to see some additional information here. So in here, you see down at the bottom, we have uh, um, some additional icons. So once the test is complete, you see, you see we start having uh, some additional information here. And so we still see that the RL is bad. Um, and, it, and it's worse than, uh, than 19. And, and so we're starting to narrow down the information here. So down here at the bottom, I can, I can scroll across or I can select the individual elements. So I can select on the individual, individual elements to get the information. And I can scroll left and right to, to see what, uh, what, what I have here. So um, I have my connector loss set at 0 0.6 for the thresholds and neg 60 for reflection. And so I'm going to scroll across here looking for which one of the connectors contributes the greatest amount of reflection. So as I'm scrolling across, oh, look at this one right here. So by 9,300 feet, I have a connector that's given us neg 17.3 dB of reflection. And so this is an indication of an air gap. And so if I know where that location is at, I can clean that connector, plug it back in to see if it improves the, the signal. And the last test is the link mapper. And so the link mapper has a very similar look and feel to the fault explorer. The fault explorer only shows you the failed elements where the link mapper shows you both the passes and the fails. So if you want to see everything, uh, that's what it allows you to do that. And so the other features on here are going to be the, um, the source. So this can double as a power checker and a source. So if you want to measure power levels, we can do that with the power checker. And so right now, I still have that 1490 signal coming in. And of course, because I have wavelength detection, it automatically detects that, hey, this is a G-Pond 1490. If I were to switch it to, say, 1550, now it's going to switch to 1550 and say, hey, this is 1550 RF video overlay on g -Pond. And so you can kind of see the, the power here. So it, it, it's, it's really nice. So when you pair that with the PX1, it'll have a similar functionality as well. And it also does loss testing. If I wanted to, to enable it as a source, of course, I can do that as well. And so I can set the source to a timer. I can either have it doing continuous wave or I can have it modulate. So if you have some sort of a live fiber detector that detects modulation, this will do that as well. And that's basically in a nutshell what the OX1 is, right? The OX1 and the PX1 paired together are really great tools for frontline troubleshooting of fiber optic systems. Again, my name is Kevin Pires. Thank you very much.